the anguish about the conditions in America's migrant detention camps continues to grow. There have been demonstrations not only at the White House, but in Texas and across the country. Immigrants are welcome here! A new internal report by the Department of Homeland Security has published photos of the chronic overcrowding in the camps. In some cells, it is standing room only. And other images show detainees pleading for release, their hands pressed up against the glass, and poor conditions everywhere as families are denied showers and adequate bedding. Members of Congress who visited the facilities expressed their outrage at the behavior of agents who work for the Customs and Border Protection Force. They put them in a room with no running water, and these women were being told by CBP officers to drink out of the toilet. Another Democrat filmed inside a cell with mothers who have been separated from their children, and he said there is one man who shoulders the blame. These are the conditions that have been created by the Trump administration. These are the inhumane conditions that folks are facing. Even more alarmingly, it has now emerged that many current and former border agents are members of a private Facebook group that is engaged in racist threats and used highly derogatory language about the migrants and refugees in their care. One wrote of a migrant, if he dies, he dies. Another said, there should be no photo ops for these scum buckets. And another commented about a pregnant woman, she's hoping to cash in on all the perks we sucker US taxpayers lavish on them. The acting head of Homeland Security called the social media exchanges disturbing and inexcusable. All of this comes as America prepares for tomorrow's national July the 4th celebrations. The president has taken a deep personal interest in the planning, even requesting that the military deploy some of his hardware onto the National Mall. But as many critics will say, he is turning a day of patriotism into a day of politics. And so tomorrow we'll see competing images of a nation celebrating, while those aspiring to become Americans are detained in the squalor of holding camps. Robert Moore, News at 10, Washington.